Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to week eight of online learning. Um, I didn't send you guys a message last week. My fault. But I did want to say that I am disappointed that we won't be seeing each other in person again for the rest of this school year. I was really enjoying our class and all of your efforts and your participation. And you guys were a really nice class to work with. You gave really good feedback and answers when we were having discussions. And like I said, I'm sorry, our semester got cut short, but it is what it is, right? <clears throat> All right, so last week you guys did assignments on immigration, citizenship, and due process. Um, we're going to continue with those ideas this week. You're going to be doing a week-long project on landmark Supreme Court cases. So if we open up the week of May 18th folder, And, of course, I got signed out of Schoology. That's what happens. Okay. All right. So, here is the assignment. Let's go ahead and open that up. All right. It says, this week you will be learning about important landmark Supreme Court cases. For each case, you will complete one slide on the attached PowerPoint. Each slide will include the name of the case, the year it was decided, the constitutional issue involved, the amendments impacted, the background information, Supreme Court ruling, and significance of the decision. So today, you are looking at free speech cases. Tomorrow, search and seizure cases. Wednesday, rights of the accused. Thursday, equal protection cases. And Friday, you have a student choice. All right, so let's go back to the folder. Okay, so for example, for today, you're going to open the Monday folder for free speech. You have two cases to read about. The first one is Gitlow versus New York, and the second one is Tinker versus Des Moines. Um, for Gitlow and Tinker, you have a summary, and if we open the first one, it's going to take us out to um, a website. That will give us the information that we need. All right, so this is Gitlow versus New York. If you scroll down, you can see who the parties involved were, when it was argued, and when it was decided. So this is a case from 1925. Um, so then you have the facts of the case the constitutional question, and then you have the decision, and down here is kind of neat. You can see who voted in favor and who voted against, who the justices were. Then it's going to give an ex um, a summary of the decision, and it's all laid out for you nicely um, to include on your PowerPoint, okay? Also within these folders, if there was a good YouTube video, um, I included links to those so that you could get some more background information. So Tinker versus Des Moines um, has its own summary, but then there's also the, a brief video from the Bill of Rights Institute that will give you some more information. All right, so let's go back to what the PowerPoint looks like. All right, so here's the template. If we take a look, this is where you'll be recording your information. So each day you have two cases, and then at the end of the week you will submit this PowerPoint to me. So once you download it, you can edit and make adjustments and change this however you want. All right, so each slide is um, set out the same way. So you have the year it was decided, the constitutional issue or question, what amendment was involved, background information, 
Supreme Court decision and significance. All right, so there are 10 slides all together. I did want to show you guys on the last day on Friday, you have student choice which means that you can pick any additional two cases that you want to include in your um, PowerPoint. So this is going to take you to the Landmark Supreme Court Cases website of the Bill of Rights Institute. If you scroll down and you look through the um, Landmark Supreme Court Cases, there are Organized by topic, so we have criminal procedure, freedom of petition, freedom of the press, freedom of speech, personal liberty. So say, for example, you chose personal liberty. Here are all the cases that deal with personal liberty. Um, and you can go through, it'll give you a summary of what the case was about. If it's something that interests you, you can click where it says read more and it will take you back to the same website that the summaries were on for the previous cases. Okay, so again, you're going to choose any two cases um, from these, uh, this website to include in your PowerPoint. Just make sure they are cases that we have not already discussed this semester. All right, so these court cases are going to be your focus for this week. If you have any questions while you are working, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask for help. And hopefully I remembered all of the attachments this time. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.